A very good day to Dr. Ili. My name is Lee Wanmin and I'm the group leader of AS Engineer. I'm in charge in part assembly and also um, the work distribution and also explanation of the degree of freedom of our projects. Now I'm going to pass this presentation to my next teammates. Thank you. A very good day to Dr. Ili and my fellow teammates. I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Hosi Kang, matrix number AN170233. So in this project, uh, the part I'll be uh, handle will be the uh, part editing, uh, followed by the explanation of degree of freedom, and lastly will be the report preparation. Uh, next, I will pass to my teammates. Thank you. A very good day to Dr. Edi and my fellow teammates. My name is Chia Jing Hang, and my metric number is AN170218, and I'm one of the team members of AS Future Engineer. In this project, I'm in charge in the part of part editing and design uh, and followed by the report preparation and the last one will be the explanation of degree of freedom which is DOF and now I would like to pass to the next presenter to introduce themselves. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum and especially to Dr. Ili and also my friends. Okay, My name is Mohamed Seful Azri Ben Rui and I'm a part of a team member of AS Future Engineer and I'm in charge of video editing and also uh, some uh, providing some ideas for the degree of freedom and I think that's all from me and I will pass it for to my teammates. Thank you. Good day Dr. Eli. Now I'm going to explain about the degree of freedom of our project. There are five degree of freedom in our robot arms. The first is starting with the base. As you can see, the base can be twist in 360 degree therefore this is the twisting joint type R after I fix this base up as you can see there are two joints moving back and forth the upper one and the lower one shoulder which is the lateral of the robot arm have two degree of freedom which is the rotational joint type R there are two of it after I fix up the these two rotational joint now this is the wrist of the robot arm as you can see the wrist of robot arm can be turned so this is the fourth joint the fourth joint this uh, joint is a twisting joint type R last but not the least is our end effector which is our gripper for a better view, as you can see, the gripper can be controlled the two finger over here. In order to make them move parallelly, so I have to zoom in for the gear. I select the gear H and H, and I'm using mate. The function mate, I will select tangent. As you can see, the result turns out both gear move parallelly. This is the last degree of freedom of our projects, which is the end effector. That's all for our degree of freedom. Thank you, Dr. 